opportunity to give them the best clip that I can give. You just see the difference. You see the difference even in the energy and just the appreciation of it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That is that is tremendous. Birdo's on the phone right now. I'm on my lunch break. He's up the street. I'm about to hear up and take this pregnancy test. And we're going to see what happens. It's not about the haircut. You giving somebody the opportunity to feel different about themselves. Right. Like when they come to your shop and you get a cut, you changing the person's whole image. It's cool, bro. Y'all, I am scared. I really do think that I'm pregnant. I've been having symptoms that I'm pregnant. Roberto's on the phone. He has no clue that I'm doing this. Don't judge me. I'm on the toilet. I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm on my lunch break. My heart is beating so fast. I muted myself. Y'all can hear him talking in the background. He's really passionate right now. But I just had this urge to take the test. The reason why I have the same symptoms I had was I was pregnant with Samia. I'm getting them again. Oh, I'm so scared, y'all. We about to take this. We about to look. I think he's distracting me. Okay. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. I gotta keep my composure, though. set this camera up real quick he is practically here i'm shook y'all don't ask me why i have tears i don't have tears yet i'm still in shock <clears throat> so hold on <clears throat> right You outside? You good? Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Give me 
not crying. Millie is cracking up. I'm laughing. <laughs> you don't know what to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> The whole time you were talking on the phone, I was like, like, oh my fucking goodness. I didn't hear shit you said. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Oh. <laughs> okay. What's next? up right now but every morning we have to cuddle every morning mm -hmm. are you making her breakfast this is the start of the vlog so good morning rise and shine we're back we're back vlogging <laughs> up. You want to get up now? Right. Uh, I thought she was getting up. Hey man, you got to come on so we can go. Can we go, please? <clears throat> All she want to do is watch this. All right, I'm leaving you. Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube, man, what's happening? This your boy, Birdo. <laughs> man, it's been a while since I've been on here, man. I ain't been on here in a minute, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all been seeing my wife lately. You know, she been, she been doing her thing with the vids. I ain't even gonna cap. I've been slacking. You know what I'm saying? Doing my own thing, but I'm back on here. I'm back on here. I'm back on here for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I know my phone going crazy right now, you baby. But uh, yes, my wife is pregnant again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a big deal for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a daddy. I'm about to be a daddy of two. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a major thing for me, man. I ain't gonna lie. You know, um, my first, my first, um, my first daughter was. It was a beautiful situation. Um, I was happy, but for some reason this time I'm like more excited about this. You know. Um, uh, a lot of you may know, a lot of you may not know that I grew up an only child. So, 
and I didn't grow up with my father, so it was just me and my mom's. And so there's experience, no crazy. There's there's things that I haven't experienced and it's things that I wasn't able to even, you know, have growing up. And I feel honored. I definitely feel honored and I feel like it's a blessing to be able to give my daughter things that I didn't have growing up. You know what I'm saying? Giving her a, a different lifestyle, um, giving her different opportunities, giving her the chance to be a big sister. You know, that that that's that's meaningful for me. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a big deal for me for sure. You know what I'm saying? So I'm happy, man. I'm excited, man. I'm ready. You know, we praying for a, a, a safe and smooth delivery. I'm gonna do everything in my possibility to make sure that my wife is comfortable, make sure that she's, you know, happy. And um, yeah, man, it's, it's it's going down. So we're gonna be recording a lot of the process. We're gonna be taking y'all through this process with us. You know what I'm saying? We're going to document as much as we can. Right now, I'm about to head to this gym, get this gym session in. I just dropped my daughter off to school for daycare, however you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's my time to, you know, my little me time. And don't worry about my head, man. You know, I need a cut bad. You feel me? I'm about to go. I'm going I'm, I'm to cut my junk this, this, uh, this weekend because I got some things going on this weekend. I'm going to need a cut for so. I'm gonna chop it up, you know what I'm saying? I usually chop my own hair, my own uh, my own head up. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get cleaned up, you know, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this gym. I'm gonna get back at y'all, you know what I'm saying, when I can. Maybe my wife be on here, I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, yeah, big, big things popping right now, you feel me? Yeah, so I'm gonna get at y'all. Appreciate y'all watching. Continue to watch. Continue to subscribe to this channel. So just, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. You did. Okay. Hi everyone. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let me wipe you guys. Hi everyone. It's so nice to see y'all again. Like I'm for real, for real. Like okay, we're back vlogging for real. Like this is it. So welcome back to the vlog. Um, as you guys may know, we, um, as you guys already know, we are expecting another baby. So we're about to be a family of four now. Uh, we literally just found out that we were pregnant again on, la on this past Tuesday, I think. I believe it was Tuesday. I can't remember. But we are um, having another baby. Sorry, y'all. I'm just like trying to find this angle. We are having another baby. Samia is going to be a big sister. Um, me and Bert are about to be parents of two. I'm like, wow, God is so good. I just thank him for allowing us, you know, to, for blessing our, my womb and um, allowing us and seeing us fit to raise more of his children. So I'm super thankful. I'm super blessed. I'm super excited. Um, and I can't wait for you guys to come along the journey with us. Like you weren't able to come along the journey with me when I was pregnant with Samia. Uh, but this time will be different. So um, I just wanted to debrief you guys real quick. So one, I just got home from work about an hour ago, about maybe almost two hours ago now. Have Samia in the tub. I'm just cleaning up. Um, but I wanted to go over a few of my symptoms with you guys. Actually, after I filmed this, maybe um, sometime this week or maybe Monday or sometimes beginning of next week, I am going to do a sit down with you on how we found out that we were pregnant. Obviously, you guys saw the reveal of when I took the test and when I told my husband and things like that. But I'm going to tell you guys more in depth what made me take the test and what led us to this point and when did we realize that okay we're ready again for a second baby um so that video will be coming out soon um but um some of the symptoms that i'm having i'm just going to debrief you guys um, i'm going to do a sit down video on this but i'm going to just briefly talk about it so estimately right now i'm about four weeks and three days 
Um, I won't have my first doctor's appointment until I'm eight weeks, and that will be on August 18th. Um, so that is when we'll have um, our first ultrasound and things like that. We're definitely going to take you guys along with us to see that. Um, but right now I am four weeks and three days and a few, I'm, I'm having really, um, small symptoms, but, um, I recognize them because this isn't my first pregnancy. This is my second one. Um, and also I do a lot of research. So I am very fatigued. I'm very tired. Um, more than usual. Um, I can feel myself being more tired. I can feel myself being a little bit more irritable not at home but more so at work um and i am crampy um that was a major sy symptom that i had when i was pregnant with Sami. i was crampy um and it was like period like cramps but it wasn't at, it, it's like a milder symptom um and then what else those are the main two things and then my breasts they just feel a little different <laughs> um so those were some of the symptoms that i'm having right now um i do have to literally tell myself to push through get up get up get up like i, I just want to take a nap all the time like all the time i just i can literally fall asleep in seconds like i just want to lay down i need naps um unfortunately right now i can't just take a nap when i want to just due to my work schedule um but by the grace of god you guys i won't be able to do a nine to five for too much longer because as you guys already may know once this comes out then that means my blog has already launched by the grace of God that it already launched. I already um, put out a blog or two. Um, so I'm going to leave that link in the description box. And I do hope you guys check it out and give me some feedback. And just tell me things that you guys want me to talk about. Uh, my blog is um, catered to finding balance between mom life, work life, and wife life. Um, so that's what my blog is pertaining to. Um, I'm also going to talk about the differences between my first pregnancy and this pregnancy. Um, I'm also going to talk about breastfeeding and um, postpartum and good things like that. So I'm very, I'm very excited. Um, I'm excited for what God has in store for us. I'm excited for what he's doing with my husband and the things that my husband has planned for us as a family and for his own business. Um, I'm excited for Samia just because she literally will have a forever play date. Like I always tell my husband all the time, I'm like, Roberta, like I just feel like Samia's lonely or she's bored or she needs somebody to play with. And she has plenty of cousins, but they don't stay that close to us. So I'm excited about that. But no, I'm I'm rambling. I know we have forever to talk about this stuff. I'll go more in depth, but you know, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank y'all for still watching us when I keep being inconsistent, but I feel good about this one. I'm excited for the journey and I will talk to y'all soon. I got to get my baby out the bath and get us ready for bed because mama's tired. Okay. Bye. Hey everyone. Okay. So. Hold on, because I almost just felt like I was about to throw up. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be dramatic. I just want to be transparent and keep it real with y'all. Um, right now, I'm struggling because um, first trimester is literally kicking my butt. Like, <sighs> this is no joke. All right, so I was at work today feeling terrible. Had to leave work early. I was in the bed literally from like one up until four. This is TMI. I'm having diarrhea, nausea, a lot of saliva, and headaches. I feel weak, haven't been able to eat anything. Um. Samia's home from school now. Roberto brought her home as usual, um, but he had to go back to work. He got two more clients. And she's in her high chair, and I really have to get up and tend to her. I really need to get her in the bath and, 
you know, start our night routine, but I literally feel like I can't take a step. Like, I feel so horrible. I don't know. Like, I can't remember if it was this bad when I was pregnant with Samir or not. Oh, y'all don't understand. I'm just praying God give me strength. I need strength. I need prayers. I need everything. Like on a scale of 1 to 10. And 10 being the best. I feel like a 2. I'm digressing to a 1. It hit me out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting to feel like this. And um, Yeah. So I wanted to be very real. Very transparent with y'all during this journey. Please if y'all have any advice to give me. <laughs> Any advice to help me with this nausea and all this stuff and with my stomach, please let me know. I'm pretty desperate at this point. Um, I'm struggling really bad. So. Yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all and let y'all know what was going on. All right. Quick update because of copyright. I threw up everything that I drank today because I couldn't eat. Threw up. I managed to be able to give her a bath, but because of that, because I was feeling like I was about to pass out, I was very, oh, she's very hyper. But I feel very weak. I feel disoriented. I keep feeling like I'm about to pass out every time I stand up, so I just sit back down. And that's the update, so. Oh, y'all yeah, pray for me, <laughs> please. All right, so it's 3.36 a.m. I'm out here, you know, doing some husband duties, you feel me? My wife, she been sick all day, throwing up going to the bathroom and so it's been non-stop uh, she haven't ate since early this morning when I bought her some Chick-fil-A and it seemed like she can't eat nothing so I had to come down to the CVS to get her some medicine to see if that's gonna help with her ups upset stomach she had called the doctor to see what she could take due to the fact that she's five weeks right now um, and so yeah hopefully this works and she don't have to go to the hospital because the doctor said if it don't get better then she'll have to go to the hospital and get some fluids and so yeah you know what I'm saying it's been a while since we did this. I almost forgot how I feel to have to get up this late night, make a little quick mission real quick, you feel me? Heck yeah, boy, you see my eyes, boy, I'm tired. But it's all good, don't gotta make, make sure wifey straight, you know what I'm saying? So, man, you know, we gonna get through this, hopefully. She feel better so we don't have to go to the hospital because I don't like going to the hospital. I ain't gonna lie. So we'll see what happens. I'm about to get her this medicine, man. And I got her her little favorite little um what them goddamn things called, man. Them little bars. Them dang, I forgot what the thing is called. And this day in this bag, but got her her little favorite bars. Something to see if it can, you know, that she can get down, man. She, she got to eat something, you feel me? She ain't eat all day, so. Little, little uh, granola bars or something that she always eat. You know, got a little protein in it, so, you know, it's it's a little solid joint. And see if she can get that down. And see what happens for tomorrow. So I'll keep y'all updated, well, today. I'm talking about tomorrow. It's a whole new day. But I'm going to keep y'all updated on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And yeah.
get back to his crib. Yeah. So I'm in the hospital. Um, we're trying to see what's causing me my stomach to be like this. Um, there you put the IV in. Pray for me. I can't really talk that loud. I'm sorry, but I'll keep you guys updated. Hey everyone, we are back and we're doing so much better. Are we doing better? <laughs> we're doing better. So, um, basically, um, we went to the hospital at like, y'all saw, yes, they had a lab, um, no, 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 it was, no, we, you took me to the hospital like 10 something. Mm -hmm. 10 something, we got back home around 4.30. Um, they just had to give me more fluids. I was dehydrated, low on sodium. And me and Roberto strongly think that it was a, um, sorry, I need to turn it. We think that I had food poisoning. They didn't really determine what was causing me to have those stomach issues, but we think it was food poisoning. And then with me being pregnant, it just made everything worse. Um, so yeah, they gave me a lot of fluids and, Oh, you gotta pick up my nausea, nausea medicine. Nausea medicine. I don't need that shit. I don't need that, but I mean, you're gonna have to pick it up. But we can pick it up tomorrow or something. Um, they gave me some. Oh, don't keep my stomach. Your brother and sister could be in there. <laughs> um, we have yeah. So they gotta pick up my. We gotta pick up my medicine, and then that's really about it. I got home. I was able to eat some noodles, and then I literally <laughs> just slept, slept, slept. I finally was able to see through the whole night without having to go back to the bathroom. And then um, I only used the bathroom once today, which is good. And I was able to eat. We had IHOP, as you guys saw. And my stomach is doing well. I'm doing good. I got my energy back. The baby is back hey. home. Thanks to my sisters and brother-in-law for watching her for us because there's no way we could do it. You have anything to say, babe, before we close out this video? It's been a long weekend. <laughs> Definitely. You can't say that. But... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely been a long weekend, but we're back to regular programming. Bye -bye. And uh, we will see y'all in the next one. Samia, say bye bye. Say bye bye. So cool. Say bye bye. You don't want to say it. You just going to give them attitude. Like say bye bye. She all up in the camera, ain't she? She know how to say it. She just won't say it, so. Goodbye.